at last I get round to an Aura song. And I'm sorry to all the fans, I'm a huge Warrior fan as you know, over the last couple of years I have been featuring her so much. But I fell back before oof, summer last year in so many recommendations, disappointed people saying you're not featured the band I requested and new artists were coming along and their fans were asking would I feature the song and I just was becoming busier and busier and as the, ch the channel grew the requests kept coming in so I had to put my very favorite artists like our queen to the side and just concentrate this year on a lot of new artists that I ought to have done last year so I apologize that only now in the middle of the year have I got around to my first 2023 reaction so I am back so welcome everybody to all fellow warriors it is a song from the past I've been deeply deeply touched by a subject matter because I personally have have experienced it with my ex-partner but for the last 16 years I've been living in bliss with my well he's not new but I would call him new for reference purposes but my ex was particularly harsh behind closed doors verbally and physically and I couldn't believe our queen had suffered this I couldn't believe it and I said even though it's a very powerful song most of her songs are whether it's about the environment or otherwise this is a song that needs in the current times after COVID, financial stress, people lacking money, can't put food on the table. It's on the increase again, unfortunately. Both men and women are suffering this domestic violence. She hasn't categorically stated it was. But let me read out, as always, what the song is about. No more bio about our queen. We already know enough. But the song is something we need to know about. The first thing I came across is said, Aurora wrote this song with Sasha Scarbeck, a Grammy nominated songwriter who wrote songs like Wrecking Ball for Miley Cyrus and Without You by Lana Del Rey. Aurora said she started writing the song the first day after the release of her debut album. It possibly talks about rape, it says here, and revenge, but this depends on the person who listens to the song. As Aurora stated that the song on this album can have many different meanings to everyone dependent on how deep you dive in, into them. On a question and answer on Twitter, she explained the song is part of a bigger story about a complicated relationship. It's inspired by domestic violence. It is speculated that this same guy is the one she was begging on her knees in I Went Too Far. And I was deeply, deeply hurt when I read this. I said, I, our queen has suffered this. She's, to me, I admire her so much musically that oh, almost we get to know her as warriors personally because she reaches out in those lyrics that you feel, no, not you. Wow. What genius, and I took this film, their quote on the song, so genius lyrics thank you for this they said it happened quiet is the fifth song of aura's sofa home album it was performed for the first time on december 11 2017 for a christmas concert in norway in nid arostomen nid arostomen the song describes how aura felt within a sad and very complicated relationship it talked about the happy moments they shared and how, and how whenever they were behind closed doors, the relationship developed into something far more drastic and terrifying. Or expressed how her partner always pictured the world as such a dark place that all they wanted to do is protect her from the outside world. What this person did always resulted in violence for the love they had, they had for Aurora. God, I'm choking up actually reading this, but every time things like that happened she was hurting over time she talks about how if she carried on being in the relationship any longer she, that she would hurt and bleed until there was nothing left of her but a constant reminder of what that person lost 
The song seems to have connection with the song Murder Song from her first album, All My Demons Get Me As A Friend, having the same story where that person kills her lover. The song It Happened Quiet has more hints about what happened, but still has the same story. Being one of the saddest songs of the EP or album of the artist, with that reference of the murder with a very po peculiar word, love is wild. The symbolism, Genius Answers, behind the song is yet to be revealed. Despite that, on Twitter, Aura stated the following about It Happened Quiet. It Happened Quiet is part of a bigger story that you will understand in the future. It's inspired by a very complicated relationship and if you can call it that. It's quite sad, but the world is quite sad sometimes. I'm so sorry anything like that had happened to you. Deep breath, let's listen and I'll analyze the lyrics straight after. Feathers falling out of a pillow as if time is standing still and I can't remember much more but I know it happened quiet so
Credits to Minju Kim and Cameron Wiley for producing what is a subject matter that's very much a taboo subject. People don't want to speak about it, but thank you, Aquino Aura, for speaking about it. I have suffered it. I have. That's why I got out of a very narcissist, toxic, psychopathic, violent relationship all in one and fell into the loving arms of my current partner and 16 years we're celebrating together now and I have never looked back and when I do and when I hear a song like this only darkness falls over even though outside it's a beautiful sunny day you'll see it getting brighter and darker I, I can only apologize for the light interference but I certainly want to apologize for coming across this song Verse 1 says, eyes blue and hollow, as it rains against their will, feathers falling out of a pillow. Well, as if time standing still. Straight away when she had sung that, I imagined the feathers in the pillow. When we go to sleep at night, we have the pillow to comfort us in order to get to sleep. But there was no comfort from this situation because it was behind closed doors and I'm going to say I can relate to this because my partner was smile, worked for the health board here in Dublin it was all smiles to his colleagues and everything and I'd be at home because I mainly worked from home I was writing my trilogy of books which are out on Amazon and every time he came home there was something wrong and I, I felt that was part of the character to get rid of all the frustration and and so I it was the first time I encompassed it because I've only ever had three relationships I had my first with my beloved Antonio a beautiful Italian guy that was killed on the roads here in Ireland and I've been through enough I felt in life I was still trying to deal with that going into this second relationship so dealing with his outbursts was horrific whereas I was coming from a wonderfully loving tender relationship where every day was about us what made us happy where we were gonna go so it was very yin and yang very and when it comes to the pillow with my second relationship this the ex that I call him I have to say it was hard to get used to and the, I found comfort in the pillow but then I didn't because I wasn't sleeping so she continues I can't remember much more but I know it happened quiet so quiet and that straight away brings home the violence the behind the doors anger straight away I was hit with oh god has she suffered what I did I'm a very tall broad guy you only have to look at my hands I have big hands and my ex was a slim person I could have reacted violently but I didn't when you are hit first or when you deal with violence you go into shock and I was in shock that such a small lur person than me would attempt to try and get away with being handy as I called it with his fists but he did and I allowed it why did I allow it I still cannot answer that because usually those kind of people I'd walk away from I always told my friends get the hell away from him or her and because there are women who are violent as well in relationships it's not just men and I tried my best to salvage the situation through talks, but he never listened. He was always right, always one of those people. Well, la di la di da. And you end up not listening. And when it says, I, and when I'm away from the relationship, even 16 years later, it's crazy how the memories, like it when you delete information on a, a computer, it's meant to disappear it's meant to go you're not meant to remember everything and I think that's karma coming back to say you're in a current relationship thank God 
with another loving person. He, my ex was the in-between, horrific nightmare. And you, you're in a loving relationship. And so I've healed. Of course I've healed. I found love again. We all want to be loved. But this so quiet, so quiet hit me when she sang that. And I watched her face. I studied that video. And it's almost like she, she was like, just getting a bit of a, from maybe a hit or the bed, the pillow put over her face, shut up you, blah, blah, blah. Just outbursts that we'll never understand, never know until she confirms it at a later stage. Now she might have touched on it through the murder song and others, but I'm telling you, we haven't heard the story. And I think if a war is like myself, and we're, warriors are all sensitive souls, that's why we, we relate to our queen. I think what she's preaching is, I'll give you an insight, but there's no need to talk about the details or the graphics, because sometimes we don't need to be plagued with horrific detail. We can, we ha that's why we have a thought process and a heart. I'm sure we can feel what she went through. It continues, words falling out through the window, all that remains is a silent call. You see her coloured red. I can totally, totally relate to this. You become so disillusioned with your life, the imbalance, the partner, the upsets, the mental stamina it takes to deal with somebody. I constantly could not believe, I was holding functions at my house. I was doing healing, believe it or not. Very, very successful healer. I even went to Switzerland and my friends set up healing in Switzerland for people to come and I would talk to them. I'd, and when they sat down, they didn't talk and I would go through the whole process. And I remember I had people over for the healing and in he walked, lost his temper, told everybody to get out, threw things around the place and just started to, I don't want this home turned into such a place, blah, 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 blah. And I just couldn't believe it again. I thought he's destroying this. When I first wrote my trilogy, and it's a huge copy, but there, there's a reason why I got such a huge copy for advertising purposes. But there's my novel, that's my name. Everyone knows me as CC, but that's my name. And if you're on Amazon, maybe you might treat yourself to that. But I was in the middle of one of three. And he came in, smashed the computer, broke everything, and totally, totally destroyed what I had. And I thought, oh my God, I've just lost all my work. And in those days, it was floppy disks took it out, broke the disc, I had no reference, I had to rewrite that particular book again from memory. And it failed me, it just failed me why it was like that. He just had a problem. And yet, the good days were great, the holidays were good, but he was disappearing with other men and I started to fear for my health. So I said to myself, I can't be going through this. This has to come to an end. And words failed me about him. And so chorus was words falling out through the window, all that remains silent call. It falls on deaf ears, in other words. Verse two, you fell apart like a stone that could be broken in sand. You see Aura standing doing that. A thousand pieces spread across a crying land. Yeah, false tears, false words, false everything. And stones that thrown stones, at, at, you know, is the words that are used to, when you are dismembered verbally and there is the old biblical saying he that Jesus said he without sin cast the first stone but many stones were cast at me and it seems also our Queen and you can't remember that day but you know what happened no you can't be and that day I would say Aura is referring to her first day of violence and then she goes through don't you speak over my voice. I will return from the shadows. This is almost like a pledge to yourself when you collect enough strength to walk away from this person. And I'll bleed in your bed, turn it red like the ground outside your window. Love is wild. 
in other words revenge is sweet karma will come around you all the bad luck on me all the violence on me will be bestowed on you love is wild love is wild is the outro I just want to finish by saying love is wild but it can also be extremely sweet because when I walked with my feet that was the best day of my life I ended up homeless and I'm not looking for violins or sympathy story but I ended up homeless I met a very nice Croatian girl working in a hostel I was exhausted one day looking for a place to stay and she offered me a room and my life turned around and here I am years later karma did come around and for my ex I heard he went to Canada and he had left a trail of destruction I met the person that came into his life after me and he continued the same psychotic narcissist psychopathic violent episodes with him the only thing I can say to everybody karma does come round my advice to anybody in that is do go do start reporting it to the guards do seek help do look with your feet for the first chance to get out of that relationship leave everything behind I did that with my ex I left absolutely every he destroyed my passport destroyed my ID everything my birth cert everything but through my family my sister got my birth cert which made me get my passport I got my identification back it took many months to get back on my feet they came to the hostel friends to help me to feed me they wanted to offer me a room but I said no I stayed in the hostel because I befriended somebody that helped me become whom, whom I am today and I ended up going from one book to three books so I'm very very happy and here I am doing a reaction to this I shared a bit of my life and to think the Queen had suffered that makes me love her even more. Thanks for listening.